Hey everyone, John here with DroidLessons.com and for today's lesson I'm going to show you how you can create folders on your Android home screen. Now first thing you want to do is go to one of your home screens that uh, has an empty spot. I have an empty spot right here but I'm actually going to go to another screen to the right that has a larger blank area here. This is where I'm going to create my folder. And now in order to create the folder what you're going to want to do is long press on a blank spot that you want the folder to be located on. So long press is when you put your finger on the screen for an extended amount of time, for like two to three seconds. I just long pressed it, and now I have an, uh, some additional menu options that appeared. One is widget, another is app, shortcut, and folder. Which ones do we want to add to our home screen? The one we want to do right now is folder. So I'm going to click folder and then I'm going to click new folder and as you'll see now on my home screen I have an icon called folder it's going to be blank right now so if I click it there's nothing in there but uh, say uh, I wanted to make this folder have my music apps like I have up here Shazam and Pandora if I want that to be in this folder I can just click these icons long press them long press again means holding your finger on top of the icon for two or three seconds and I can drag it into that folder. So now Pandora is in that folder and I can also long press Shazam and drag it into that folder and now those apps are in that folder. If I click it, there they are. And I can also rename this folder so that I know what's in this folder. So if I long press up here where it says folder, I can now rename the folder and I'm going to call it music. That way I, I can uh, I can tell what exactly is in this folder. I'm going to long press on the folder now and just move it to a different spot. Looks a little bit better up here. And now if I want to create a new folder, I can do it again. I just long press on the screen, click folder, click new folder, and now I have another folder. Now say I want this one to have uh, all my games in it. I can just uh, long press on the screen click on app and that's going to show all my apps on some phones um, apps might not appear what you'll want to click is shortcut and then applications but since I have an HTC phone mine just says app so I'm going to click app and then find the apps that I want I'm just going to find apps that are games right now so I'm going to click Angry Birds it created an icon there for Angry Birds now I'm going to add another one uh, I'll Let's see what other games I have. There we go, blow up. I'm just going to keep adding apps to my home screen here, and then I'm going to put them all in the folder. Let's see. Pretty sure I have some more games in here. Oh, there's Legends. I'm going to look for one more. I think I have a good one called Spider Man. That one's pretty good. There we go, Spider-Man. So as you can see, I just created four icons on my home screen. Now if I want them in that folder, all I have to do is long press them and drag them into that folder. Long press, drag to that folder. Long press, drag to that folder. Long press, and drag to that folder. And now that folder, if I click it, has all my games on there that I, that I made a uh, shortcut for. Uh, now if I want to rename the folder again, you just long press on top of the name of folder up there and then the option appears to rename folder and I'm going to rename this one games and then click OK and now as you can see I've got two folders here on this home screen one for my music and one for games there's music when I'm done with it I can click the X over here games those are my games when I'm done with it I can click the X there and that's pretty much it. That's how you can create folders on your Android home screen. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or shoot me an email. And I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please be sure to visit droidlessons.com in the future for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.